What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I go over all of the lines of sight to help you dominate every map in Black Ops 4. Now that we have all the base maps covered, what I've decided to do for the DLC, instead of just ending the series, is I'm going to be going through each set of maps that drops at the same time, and we're just going to be having a look at the lines of sight as well as any sort of like jump spots or secrets that I know of on the map. We're not going to be covering spawns or hotspots for the remainder of this series. So in today's episode, we're going to be covering the first set of DLC maps, and this is Elevation and Madagascar. So first up, on Elevation, back by the A Domination spawn, I was quite surprised to find that you can actually jump on top of this truck. You can't do too much from here, although you can watch that area right there to see if somebody comes around that corner. And you can also use this to look over top of this area here towards that doorway. Not the most practical spot because you're not going to find a ton of traffic there, but it is nice to know that you can do this. Next, we can also jump on top of this truck right here, and from this one, you are quite exposed to anybody that's in that window, so you want to make sure that is clear first. But the great thing about this is if you crouch here, it gives you a great line of sight towards that piece of cover there, or anybody that comes through that area by that truck. And also, if you stand up right here, you can see a little bit over towards where the B flag is, so if they're capturing and domination on the B flag and they're just standing up, you should be able to pick them off through here. Now the next thing I wanted to show you guys, this is something that I didn't know about before and it's actually super helpful. If you want to get up into this window, which they don't normally expect, they'll normally expect you to go around that way or all the way around to the backside. You can actually just jump on this wall right here and then from here, jump into the window. Super simple and that's actually very useful to know. Now in Domination, I just wanted to point out you can capture the B flag from on top of the truck here, which in the game's current state at the time of recording this, it isn't practical, but there was a leak suggesting a smoke grenade is coming, and if it does come, this will be an excellent capture spot with the cover of smoke. Also over here, I just wanted to point out for those of you guys that didn't know this yet, you can mantle directly into this window. Very, very small thing, but a lot of people don't realize you can mantle up that high. Another thing is if you have the enemies push back into this spawn here, this is more so for like safeguard, for instance, right towards the end of the round, you'll have your enemies spawning back there. The best way to challenge them, I find, is to mantle up here, and there you go. Great line of sight towards that area there, and you can easily cover yourself as you move that robot up to finish the round. Now, one last thing on elevation I wanted to show you guys is if you jump on the hood of this truck here, you can use that to jump into this window like that. It might look like you're not going to make it, but it's actually quite an easy jump to hit. And this is quite useful if you have somebody camping up there because they don't normally expect you to be coming from this area. They expect you to come up the stairs like this. Getting into Madagascar, if you spawn back on this side of the map here, sometimes you'll have enemies that'll sit right in that area there to push you back into your spawn, and it's a super common spot for them. So instead of challenging them out in the open like this, where they have a slight height advantage and otherwise it's pretty much a 50-50 fight, what I like to do is come up to this truck here and then just mantle on the hood, and there you go. You get much better cover here. You can crouch to take complete cover, stand up, and there you go. You'll pick that guy off, no problem. Now, as I'm pushing up towards the middle of the map, what I like to do is I will jump up on top of this truck right here, and I can use this to check that spot right there, that little barrel. By hopping up right here, you get a great line of sight on that. Sometimes somebody will be camping there. Also, you can see anybody that might be in that area. If they are in that area, though, I'd recommend just backing off. Also in the middle of the map, if you want to get up to this area here, there's all the common spots like using the ladder, which you don't actually really need to use the ladder. You can just like jump and mantle up like that anyways. Also on this side, very, very obvious you can jump and mantle up like that. One less obvious spot that I will use every now and then that's really nice if I'm like in this area here is jumping up on the hood of this truck and then like that. There you go. That'll get you up here really, really quickly. Another thing you can do over here is you can jump on top of this little green shack here. And from this spot, if you crouch, you've got the best line of sight to challenge people up in the tower. In my opinion, this is your best bet at challenging them. They don't normally expect this. You do have excellent cover here, and you've got a lot of options as well. If you need to get out of the way, you can easily just jump out of the way. Or if you check there, nobody's there, then you can easily mantle up, and you're now up in this position. Now, if you're over in this area right here, and you have an enemy in that window... I've actually got a couple options for you to take them out. The first option is jumping on the hood of the truck like this and crouching. There you go. Nice little piece of cover there that you can use to take those guys out. But something else that a lot of people didn't realize is you can go prone under this truck and it gives you a great line of sight on that window. Of course, they can see you and shoot back as well. But I did want to point out you can do that with this truck. Now, even though those spots are pretty good for challenging that window, I can do a lot better than that. If you come to this area right in here, mantle up on this wall, you can't really see anything. It's not really going to do much for you, but there's a little invisible ledge here. If you just hit jump one more time while pushing forward there, you will hop up on this little ledge and look at that. Perfect line of sight into the window. Also, this area right here, which enemies will often be traveling through, they will not be expecting you to be standing right here, and you can pick them off really, really easily here. 
This is an incredible spot that I'm going to be using quite often when I have the enemy spawning back in that area there. And with that, even though Madagascar is such a big map, those were the only really practical spots that aren't super obvious that I was able to find. So that's going to wrap it up for the DLC 1 maps. I know I'm really late when it comes to that stuff, but we are going to start blasting through these a lot faster now that we're covering two maps at a time. And now that I also don't have to cover spawns and hotspots, because that honestly, the spawns is what took the most amount of time with this series. So I will be catching up very, very quickly with the rest of the DLC maps. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.